Hello and welcome to this demo video where we will show web application vulnerability based on now known log4j vulnerability in the context of 5G networks and multi-access edge computing API usage. I am Ivan Melia, Head of Product Marketing for Prisma Cloud Compute with Palo Alto Networks, and I'm here with our field CTO, Ajay Mishra. Hello, Ajay. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, um, Ivan, today. The great thing is that today, you know, just there, we have Mediterranean, so I'm speaking from Tel Aviv today. And yes, I'm a CTO from uh, JPAC region based out of Tokyo. And I'm very excited today to really showcase a real lethal attack against 5G Mac. I'm really looking forward to uh, Ivan. That's great. Thank you, Ajay. Before we dive into the demo, could you please walk us through the attack path, uh, what are the key elements that warrant a successful attack? Well, what I can say, well, this represents the entire part of this attack's path. So in this, in this attack, well, attacker always have some objectives. So as I do in the same as in an attacker uh, you know, perspective. So first of all, attacker is going to steal the UE data, which is user equipment, and we're gonna exploit it that. How, you going to do it is abusing that log4j vulnerability. You see the initial compromise for that. And finally, the displaying your data as expectations will be a complete mission. The way we will be doing as a log4j is having that malware giving me a reversal back to me. And then I'll be using some of the backdoor systems there. And I will never stop there. The attackers will never stop there. So will use that and get in the you know mongodb that's the where that data resides as a lateral movement and finally we will have some couple of commands running on there and have a complete mission of data exploitations so it's an end to end attack and just one message i would like to say the attacker needs to be get right once protection needs to be done in each phase of these attack path you see here that's all from me, Ivan, on this uh, uh, entire attack path. Got it. Thanks, Ajay. So just to make sure I understood, Ajay, even though the attack vector is the network, this is really an application level attack, correct? That's correct. Most of attacks these days happens on you know application level. And 5G, welcome to the world of REST API. You cannot protect an API just thinking of old days of network. Welcome to the new hacking world and welcome to the new protections parts of this world. Absolutely. Okay, I'll pass you the ball now to share screen, screen Ajay, and uh, we'll go uh, off camera. All right, Yvonne. So let me start uh, the actual hacking from now, and I will start with the explanations, the environment. So, First of all, I have three browsers here. One browser is the target application where the hack will be taking place. And exactly this make API explains or just displays the latitude, longitude of that uh, UE, uh, UE that will be hacking the data of the UEs. The second one is that exactly the data of the UE. I'll be adding one more uh, you know, data in this data database so that we can confirm some of uh, the real like a verification piece. And then how we are protecting these, all these attack, you know, uh, all the bits and bytes will be displayed over here. Great, and I just, just to make sure I understood, so the first tab corresponds to your uh, web application, your external work cloud workload. The second tab is what is behind that application, it's the uh, the database that contains the data for your UE. And then in the third tab, you have obviously our Prisma Cloud tool where you will show us um, the protection capabilities, correct? Exactly, exactly, Ivan. Got it. Now we have another component for this attack is the uh, command prompts, where the exact attack gonna happen. And here I'll be explaining where what each uh, prompt is meant for. So on the very top right, we have a command and control server. Of course, it is the hacker control server. And since this attack is the log for shell attack, we need a GNDI server as well. 
Now to understand log force cell attacks and those, there's lots of videos on YouTube. Please check that out. This is not a session for log force cell in itself, but hacking Mac API. So these are two prepared things. Now also, of course, in the log force shell, the attacker needs to go and fetch some of the attack payload in itself. So here, if you see very carefully, is that the attacker is accessing the same API or that web web where we were had um, you know user location with LDAP payload uh, having that base sixty four encoded and that encoded piece here from here actually D two all the way to the end it has a malware inside it and that down get gets downloaded and executed is everything is encoded and here in the in the middle the attacker where the attacker is actually waiting in the, at the back door so let me just press this button and wait for the back door and also press this piece that how uh, the attacker is getting in the very first initial compromise of that container so we are in and i didn't explain one more piece here this is the victim uh, the, where we'll be abusing or like, uh, you know, stealing. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask so that your bottom terminal is the is the victim victim's side of the house where you were comparing the data to the actual uh, MongoDB data and everything on top is on the attacker side of the house. So on your upper left terminal is you have injected a malicious payload in the API request and you have the command and control center on the upper right side. And in the middle one, you you are effectively started a, a back door waiting for that request to come back and effectively give you reverse shell access. Is that correct? Hundred percent, Ivan. That's a that's a correct understanding. All right, and, great. I'm and just to add, just to add in that, like if you can see here right now, is that this reverse shell is getting downloaded right now here. So I had said in my words, but just a little bit like a you know visualizations as well there. Got it. Thank you. Now let's go. And you know what a hacker does all the time is that they, they will check that you know what kind of like privilege they have. And it's already root privilege there. So they will do more damage on the on the on the top of that. But what I'm going to do since my target is this this piece here to steal, I will be making first of all this command prompt a little bit cleaner. And that cleaner command prompt will be giving me a very nice shell to execute some command. Now, since my target is this one, hacker can do a lot of nmap to find out where this the, the, the place is. So here I'm going to do a accessing that MongoDB, and I'll be doing exactly what victim would would, uh, would do. So I have changed that databases. And finally, my target is to get all that data we see in the prompt below, I'm going to fetch exactly there. So let's double check both of us. So see 20892 and 20892, exactly the hacker has taken entire data out of this system. Just for the verification piece, let me add one more data here. A new subscriber in 5G UE, just 94, is that twice of yours, I guess, <laughs> um, Ivan. I'm not sure if he's your lucky number today or not. That also I'm going to steal. So here, just press it. And yes, we also have 20894, exactly what the victim has added. In, in their databases. Wow. So this was the all the entire attack places. Got it. It's a fairly complex attack, but very easy to perform, apparently. Yes. And you might be interested, Ivan, that how we are going to protect it, right? Yes, absolutely. I I'm, I'm, I hope we can see um, what footsteps did this attacker leave and uh, how do we go about detecting and preventing? So this is the place where Prisma Cloud of Palo Alto Networks plays a very heavy role. 
any attack of API is of course web application firewall the front line. So in the blue, you see there are some detections going on here with that red light over there. So here, if we click the custom rule that we have already a built rule, you know, um, log for the remote code executions, this is getting alerted. Now alert can be, you know, blocked, can be banned, many different kinds of like, uh, we can take actions, but this is the place we are detecting first. But you might ask Ivan that, okay, web application firewall, well, everybody do that. Yeah, that's correct. So what we have, the another piece is that in that container, if you look at, you see that malware, the way it downloaded it getting detected, the external IP communication being detected. And finally, if we see, um, you know, all the way that MongoDB, let me just show around that, you know, the lateral movement is also getting detected. So every piece of this attack on the process level is getting detected. But now this is the detection piece. More importantly, first of all, you have to show uh, that you have protected. You do not just say that we are protecting. Seeing is believing. So entire 5G Mac environment in the core 5G is displayed here. And more importantly, the way the hacker came out from the internet is looking here, is coming out from the first stage where he compromised this container and moved all the way MongoDB. In here, one thing I would like to just demonstrate that how powerful this detection capability on the forensic level is, is giving you every pieces in sequential way. And finally, you see that Mongo was one of that, you know, execution being done over there. So that is highlighted all the top there. So a security specialist or something like that, if anything goes wrong in their environment, they can track and identify why this attack happened and how this attack happened in one place. This was my all attack. Uh, Ivan, any questions you have? No, fantastic, AJ. Thanks so much. So definitely, uh, I can see here a lot of Prisma Cloud capabilities at, a, at the container level. So we effectively protected the 5G workload uh, and it looks like we're looking at the spawn processes. So we're monitoring and any other unusual processes that are created. We're monitoring the file system changes as well as the network level changes such as traffic or installing network listeners and so on where we really focus on that lateral movement uh, as well as process and file system control for that specific workload. Is that correct? It is, is absolutely correct, Yuhan. Yeah, That's that, why that, we call it defense in depth uh, strategy of the Prisma Cloud. Fantastic. Thank you so much, AJ. Let's uh, move back to our slides and uh, close this demo. Great demo, Ajay. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking with you today, sir. So do I, Ivan. You know, the best thing, I mean, thanks everybody to actually watch from attacks to all those protections. One thing I have to tell here and very, very fast, protections always comes by understanding the true nature of attacks. In 5G, it's the same thing. So understand attack first and protection later on. Thank you, Ivan. You go back to you. Thanks, Ajay. To implement your application security today, please visit us at paloaltonetworks.com. Look for Prisma Cloud and sign up for a free trial. This is our webpage. Look for a request a trial sign up in the upper right corner. Thanks for watching.